There. That's it. That's him. Deuces, greetings, and salutations. I'm about to give you another presentation. I'm about to give you another lecture, as they call it. I'm about to give you some more info. I'm about to give you some more real-life skills. Some real rap, some truth, some facts. And if you can't fuck with facts, you sure as hell ain't fucking with me. And as always, Mr. Wormack is presently in the building. So let's go on. Okay. I want to title this video, The Miseducation of Black Folks. Now let me dig into this one. I was in, I have a Facebook group, I'm in lots, like I said before, I'm in many Facebook groups, but this one's kind of geared more towards critical thinking and thought analysis, which, unfortunately, that's not one of the biggest skills in the overall black community, critical thinking and deep thinking processes. And in this Facebook group, we had a, they had a story, they had this chick who went into the store? I think I don't think it was a bar. It might have been a bar. I don't know. It was, a, it was a, one of those stores. I have to, I have to go back. But it was something similar. And when she was, she was profiled. Now, that in itself, we can all agree that's hundred percent wrong. But here's where the story took a twist. It was alleged that the chick was on welfare, living at home with her parents. You know, had a couple of kids. Well, if you don't welfare, you know, they got a couple rug rats. And the, the killer of it all, mind you, this chick is on welfare. She bought a $2,500 bag from the store and got profiled. Now, let me explain some to people. As I said earlier, profiling is wrong. We can all agree with that. But here, like, my, like other than myself in this group tried to explain to some of these folks, the bigger problem is is what a lot of people are going to ask if the media really got a wind of this. How in the hell is somebody on welfare buying a $2,500 handbag? That's the bigger issue, right? I mean, no matter how the profile goes, that may be what you want to talk about, but what the main issue will be is how in the fuck is some chick on welfare affording a $2,500 handbag? Now, a lot of you people say, well, with her money, she could do what she wants, yada, yada, this, that, and the fifth. That's fine. I'm not hating on that. If, if you have the money to do that, that's fine. If you want to, if, look, if I had money to buy the $25 handbags, if I was inclined to do that, if I was kumsai kumsai, maybe I would. But if I was getting legal aid or government assistance and having no job, that 2500 could be used to help pay bills. That 2500 could be used to look, buy a car to look for a job to get off welfare. But a lot of folks in the group weren't understanding. A lot of folks had this, had this mentality. Well, you got to just hang because because that's her money and she can do it what she wants to. I'm not saying that. I'm not hating on this chick. Look, God bless her for getting that, you know, that handbag. What I'm saying is you're on welfare. You have, don't have a job, you live at home with your parents, you got a bunch of rugrats, that $2,500 could have been spent wisely. And then everybody said, oh, it's crab in the barrel from us. It's not crab in the barrel, it's critical thinking and logic. It's common sense. You shouldn't, if you're on welfare, there's no reason for you to have a $2,500 handbag unless somebody gave it to you or unless you aren't on welfare. You know, but what we were, what me and a couple other, myself and a couple other guys in the field were trying to say, we were talking about responsibility and accountability. That is not really responsible what you're doing on welfare to buy a $2,500 $2, handbag. And that, that's the accountability factor that blew them out of the water. It's like we were speaking fucking Greek to them. You know, and then they come up with the usual, the usual excuses that you'll hear sometimes in the black community. Well, when the white folks do it, that's the be all the end all for them. That's how they say you shut somebody down when you make an argument. Well, the white folks don't it. Well, let me tell you something. In the Catholic Church, they do pedophilia. So does that mean that a bunch of you non critical thinking, dumbass Negroes are going to start molesting kids? First and foremost, don't worry about what someone else is doing. If your house is dirty, Clean your house first. That's what I do. If my house is dirty, 
I clean my house first. Then once my house is clean, I move on to the next house to clean. But if your house is full of muck and mire and like, you know, spores and black mold, how in the world can you go over and clean somebody else's house when it got leaves on the yard and sitting like criticize them when your yard and your house are not even clean? You know, it's 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 bewilders me. You know, it's it's a problem because you're labeled a hater for saying the right thing in the black community sometimes. And then you get the ones that say, we won't tell them more secrets. What fucking secrets? There are no secrets. You know, the, what the problem is, you don't, want, you don't want to talk about these things because you may be held accountable to them. You don't want to hold account, you know, anybody to accountability. Like, if I do something stupid, hold me accountable. I got married. I did something stupid. I was held accountable. But here's, here's the bottom line. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying you got to look at things a little bit because it's this is where the spin comes in, it, like uh, the the media, the media, the political spin, and and rightfully so because you weren't thinking, you know, or maybe she should have got to you know use that money to try to get off of welfare because in essence, you know who paid for that handbag? You were not a taxpayer. You know, to me, it's just. I don't know where some of these black folks get off with this logic. Well, well, when the white people do it, well, it doesn't matter what the white people do. It doesn't matter what the brown people do. It doesn't matter what the Asians do or the Native Americans do. It matters what you're doing now. And what problem is a lot of the minority is affecting the majority. And since there's, there's since accountability and uh, responsibility aren't preached a lot, I'm preaching it. And you may not want to hear it, and frankly, I don't give a fuck if you don't want to hear it. But like I said, if you can find something that I'm not saying that isn't true, please come with it. But you know what? You can't. All you can say is, I'm a hater, and all you can say is, well, that's her money. Well, of course that's her money. What if she would have burned her money? I don't give a shit what she would have done with her money, because it doesn't. It, it only affects me that I got to support her. And that's the point I'm getting at. If her actions didn't have you know anybody any, anybody else to deal with, Hey, it's her business. She wants to don't want to take, you know, if she don't want to take care of kids or do whatever. That's her business. But when the next month comes around, and out of my taxpaying dollars, she gets welfare. What does that say? Now you're affecting me, and now I have a right to say something as a taxpayer. But I'm not going there as a taxpayer. I'm trying to get some of you, you know, non-critical thinking as Negroes to understand this. The problem is you want to meander around willy nilly. And you don't want you don't want to be you don't want to lock down into something. That's like I try to tell you guys. You guys have all these big dreams. You look at Facebook, you look at Twitters. FYI, late breaking news, not all y'all are models. Not all y'all are rappers. Not all y'all are ballers. You need to understand this. Just because you take a what's it look like a year on welfare taken and there's a lot of people on this on Facebook. Don't get mad at me, get mad at the truth. They taking fifty million pictures. They and they're getting they're getting they're getting aid. They can't get a job, but it can be on Facebook fucking 80 hours a day. I'm just keeping it real. And you can get mad at me all you want, I don't care. But like I said, I back it up with facts because if you know somebody's doing it, I know somebody's doing it. There's a lot of false maneuvering in a black community, but you don't want to call you don't want to call it accountability and responsibility. Two words that you want to hear a lot in the, in the black community. Sure, you can have a bunch of preachers and political figures. We disapprove of this. But that's as far as they go. When Obama criticized fathers and all that other stuff, black folks kind of got mad about it. But at the end of the day, you couldn't say the dude was lying. So, start, we need more critical thinkers in the community. We need more people who are preaching accountability and responsibility. So, that's all I have for right now. I'm out. Peace. That's it. That's him.